Welcome to Comics Experiment, the show that has been going on for over five years here on your various podcast platforms and the Comic Storian YouTube channel. You might have noticed a little bit different setup here and a little bit of a different cast and my hair is going insane and I don't like it, so we're going to pin it back. <laughs> So uh, the actual recording for this week's episode, we had to watch a different thing for a different job, different thing. So we asked our dear friend Sal from the channel Comic Pop and Absolutely Marvel and DC to fill in for Andy for this one week to discuss a list that was probably near and dear to Sal's heart. 30 weird Spider-Men that will never show up in the Spider-Verse. <laughs> Yeah. Are we excluding all the Marvel-based ones like Spider-Hulk? Because Sony's going to be like, there's no way we can or would pay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. So the way that the show works now, Comics Experiment, is normally we get information or something goofy and we discuss it. Be it what if a character died? What if a character had a kid? Or we grab a list and we basically make fun of it. This one is from Screen Rant. So it's going to be interesting to see who they've discounted as never making it into a Spider-Verse movie. Good old Screen Rant. A bastion of professional integrity <laughs> and since andy's not here i will say it i don't know whoever wrote this list but that person is an idiot <laughs> probably um and i also need to let you guys know that today's episode is sponsored by two of our ongoing sponsors g fuel if you want to get this energy in your system get the new dr strange flavor it's a tangerine flavored uh dr strange dr strange flavored which is tangerine g fuel uh, use the code COMICS at checkout so that they know you came from us. And make sure you check out our other new sponsor, shortboxed.com. If you go to shortboxed.com slash comicstorian, there should be a giveaway going on. I'm not going to name specifically what it is because there should be one happening every month. So like at the time of right now, it's a Spider-Man issue, but who knows what it'll be in seven months or something like that. So basically, Shortbox is an app that helps you get your hands on CGC-graded comic books. And maybe I should have used that, and I wouldn't have wasted $100 on this Turtles book. On that book Turtles book. <laughs> <laughs> you watched my short, I assume? I sure did. I watched your TikTok, and I was like, oh, Benny. Oh, <laughs> Come on. If you saw TM TMNT1 shattered, and it was a CGC, that's all you saw. Would you yeah. not have bought it, Sal? I would have assumed, because I know very little about CGC, so I would have been like, oh, it's a shattered box. But that, right. for me, I would have been like, does that mean that it tore the pages? Like, I don't know, but yeah. I was curious. I'm like, worst case scenario, it might have torn some of the pages, and then I just have one of the first issues, but it's just a really bad quality. Who you knows? What's funny about that? I legitimately, I was actually doing some searching myself around the same time, because I was like, wouldn't it be cool to own the first issue? And That's I looked it up. $40,000! Dude, the ones I found that are CGC graded are fifteen hundred, but maybe those are other reprints. You know, I was but just I like, <laughs> I, I, no, I, I when I when you said fifteen hundred, I'm like, pay it because <laughs> I saw like the first issue thirty five forty thousand fifty thousand. I'm like fifty thousand dollars, and then I remember like TMNT is a media empire. And oh they, yeah, yeah, they're huge and owned by Nickelodeon now, basically. Right, like if you're over thirty and you have a beard, you probably love the Ninja <laughs> Turtles. So it's like, that's the end of that. Like, everyone yeah. wants it. So, yeah. Uh, I just thought it'd be cool to add it in my collection because I recently caught up on all of the volumes all the way up to, like, I'm on, like, 17 out of, like, nice. 20. So I'm, like, right at the end there. Yeah. Apparently it takes a horrible turn at the ending, but I haven't got there yet. So Good, good. But I was just like, wouldn't it be cool to own the first one? And that's why I got stuck with that. But if you don't want to get stuck with the situation I got stuck with, check out shortbox.com. Click the link down below. Join the contest. Or just check out the app so you can get your hands on a couple of books. You'll be talking a lot about them as time goes on. So definitely check them out. All right. So the way this works, Sal, is yep. Comics Experiment. You've been on a few of these. I have. We just have fun here. But yeah. since you are the self-proclaimed expert <laughs> Spider-Man guy, you know oh, everything. Oh, what a mistake. Okay. <laughs> I've never said that. But, You've never uh, said that, but you agreed to be on my show, and I dictate so the rules. So here I am. <laughs> yep. So resident Spider-Man expert, <laughs> so Sal from Comic Pop. I'm going right, to see if, you, that if one any bit. of these... I'm yeah. going to clip that one bit. I'm going to put that... Good. I'll, and hold me to it. Yep. There we go. Sal has that said That way if it. someone's like, what issue did the Willow the Wisp first appear? I'll be like, oh, No! Dethroned immediately. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna ask you that. I'm gonna we're gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna give you what these guys are and see if you can guess what they are. Right. Okay. I'll I'll give you like a little bit of the synopsis. We're gonna do these in reverse. So you and Dan are gonna try to because some of these are obvious, like super sure. obvious characters. 
So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna give you what they are, and you're gonna mm-hmm. see if you can tell me which Spider-Man it is. Okay, and, and these then are we'll characters decide. that are not gonna be in the Spider-Verse movie. According to Screen Rant in 2018, and I'm not gonna lie, some of them are already in the trailer for the next <laughs> one. <so laughs> Fair. Okay. Well, let's. So, all right. First up, in an alternate world, a Spider-Man that was happy and managed to get married and have a child. What is that renew Spider-Man? Your vows? Yes, yeah, that's renew exactly your vows. what I yeah. <laughs> Number 30 is renew your vows. They're saying that we will never see a happy Spider-Man in uh in anything. Basically, what a, a, what a reach. Yeah. No. No, you you could yeah, no. Them I mean, for all we know, Peter B. Parker is happy at the end of the and last What movie. if what if Peter B. Parker is the Spider Family Parker and they're just having a rocky road? We don't know. Dude, uh, what if they, uh, yeah. you know, how many years? Is, I think it's supposed to pick up like immediately after the last post credit scene from the first movie. So it's not like we could we're going to jump ahead and be like, hey, it's Peter yeah. B. Parker and Spinneret. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't think they're going to do that necessarily. I mean, they could, yeah, but they could also easily go, his universe moves 10 years faster than your uh, universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, they, they, all right. They could. It's time travel. 2099 is not an alternate universe. That's an alternate timeline. Yeah. So we could easily jump around, but okay. So yeah. we're saying we're 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 thinking this is dumb. Spider Family could easily show up. Easily, in a no easily. question about it. Okay, how about a tragedy-free Spider-Man in a world where nothing went wrong and he became a, practically a like a a celebrity because he's mm. Spider-Man? Who is that? I mean, there's a lot of celebrity Spider-Man. I mean, depending right, on the- but this one is like celebrity. He's got House a of M. He's got, yes. 100% House of uh, M Spider-Man. Yeah, that's not happening. You're not going to see House <laughs> of M Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse movies. It is contingent upon Magneto being in charge over the world. Not going to happen. Uh, would that be awesome, though? We get, like, yes. a tanned Tom Holland? Like, yeah, with, 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 a, with a buzz haircut, and he, <laughs> and he thinks he's the Green Goblin, too. It's really weird. Mm-hmm, and he yeah. has, like, a really messed up journal. He is, un- he is unhappy in that universe. Ask, but. Yeah. Right, right, but he's tragedy free. So that's true. Yeah. yeah, nothing bad happened to him. It all is. I believe. I believe that whole that whole Spider Man basically because in the world of House of M, mutants are the the king of the crop. Everyone loves them, and if you're not a mutant, then you're like shown to the thrown to the wa- wa- uh, to the wolves. Yeah. And in that universe, he claims he's a mutant, he but knows the to truth. Be. That's yes. right. That's right. He pretends to be. So his tragedy. The only time he is tragic is when he is outed as not a mutant and for being a liar. <laughs> and also when he impersonated the Green Goblin, a character that shouldn't exist in that universe. Right. Because like his psyche is still connected to the previous version. It's a whole messed up thing. It's not a great issue. It's not a great series. I'm not a big fan of House of M Spider Man. No, I it, it was I think it was a cool like pitch piece. Yeah. A but, great great pitch. But yeah. execution <laughs> eh, that's that's Mark Wade all over, man. Mark Wade's yeah. Spider Man. I anytime you write Spider Man, I'm like No. No. Just get all anybody right. else. Dan won't get this one, but what about a world where it, uh, that the Marvel's more realistic and the reactions are all more oh, realistic? No, is it <laughs> ruins. Yes, I didn't even get to the. He's got scars on his hands and no actual powers. <laughs> and he and he has no. He has powers. He has the powers to to kill people by touching them. Like he has a horrible disease that yeah, affects uh, people. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a messed up. I, I wouldn't call that a story. power. No, that's not a power. <laughs> yeah, that's a disease. Yeah, no. So the, the and the world ruins. It's what would realistically happen. Is that the same? That's the same one where Iron Man just dies screaming in a suit, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. He just dies. Oh, the, Silver the, Surfer the suit blows up. and no one can get him out of the suit dance. So he just dies screaming oh, in the Jesus. suit. Jesus, yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, you know, like Silver Surfer was a guy named Norrin Rad in that universe. Like he's covered in that like Silver Surfer coating, but he has mm-hmm. like claustrophobia, so he like tears at his own flesh to get out of it <laughs> and oh exposes God. the power cosmic and explodes. Jesus. Yeah. It's ridiculous. We should cover okay. that one day, Dan. <laughs> uh, it would let me tell you something. It would do quite well. People love <laughs> ruins, man. People love ruins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for so next reason. up. That man, one for up. the record, I that would not be in the Spider Verse. No. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, going in that ruins. movie. Yeah, yeah ruins ain't happening. Just a regular Peter Parker with a couple scarred hands, like, hey guys, I'm here too. <laughs> yeah. I'll kill you. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. So this Spider-Man has no excuse for his horrible actions. This Spider-Man is a traditional web slinger, and aside from the fact that he has no qualms over taking lives, he uh, he eliminates Craven the Hunter and then becomes violent and merciless. 
There's a number is this of the what murdering if? Spider-Mans. This is a I don't what think if this the is Punisher what if, but became Spider-Man, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that one. It, it, it could be Assassin Spider-Man. No, no. That's from a what if. Uh, is this is, uh, the the storyline they're referencing is in yeah. normal continuity. Grim Hunt? Close. Yeah, but it's Last Stand, so it kind of like ties into all of that. Last Stand. Last okay. Stand. Violent Vigilante Spider-Man, where he just goes too far trying to take out Kraven. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I don't know. I think I could do it. That. I, get... I could see that showing up, but no one will know who he is. Right. No. <laughs> oh. he, he looks exactly like the other Spider-Man. It's just you'll need a lot of backstory and context, and he won't. He's not going to be like a supporting character. So he's no. not going to show up and be like, "All right, guys, let's kill everything." Because I killed yeah. Craven the Hunter in a storyline known as Last Hunt. And <laughs> I know exactly what book that is. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, hasn't he become like the head of the family or something? Yeah, I think I I do remember that issue. I remember reading it, being like, "Ew." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this one I find hilarious. Okay. 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 Hold on. Out of curiosity, wh- when did this come out? Uh, Sp- introduced fans to many wacky and weird Spideys and only scratches the surface. Well, I'm trying to see when this, when this list came out because this next one doesn't make sense. Mm. I thought you said 2018 was when it was yeah. written. Yeah, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, okay. Well, then, uh, you know what? I'm just going to say this one so we can say why it doesn't make sense. Sure. Spider Gwen. They're saying Spider Gwen will not be into a Spider Verse <laughs> movie. Well, they're incorrect. <laughs> That's my confusion. <laughs> uh, debunked. Yeah. Based that's... on her being a major character in that movie <laughs> and in the next yeah. movie. Okay, okay. They're stating that that version, the actual Spider Gwen from the comics. Oh yeah, no. Oh Why would gosh. they complicate what? things? Yeah. <laughs> that is. <sighs> Why would you even put that on this list? That's like the dumbest thing ever. It's like going by the way, also you the ran Miles out? Morales. <laughs> We're only at 26 out of 30. How did you run out? <laughs> right, like the, 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 the one that turns into a ghost rider. Like, yeah, that one. Okay, Spider Hulk. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be in there. But no, uh, technicalities. That's what I want to in- infuse into my top 30 the list. The older version of Spider Gwen who's in college, because I think this one's 16, mm-hmm. you know, and, and did the whole thing with Peter Parker. They're saying that that version will not show up. Yeah. What, the one with the less fun haircut. Wow. <laughs> Blew my mind. The less, the less well, fun that's, haircut. That's actually I the like funny your haircut thing, in the movie. Yeah. Is uh, with it being Spider Man 2099 and having the alternate timelines, that's actually very possible to be in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Have a yeah. future version of another one of the main characters. Yeah, the fact that there are physical comic books and references to them in the original Spider-Verse movies means that, like, you can't discount that. Any yeah. comic book version of Spider-Man or Spider-Man adjacent characters could show up in this, as long as they're not also Iron-based or Hulk-based or Thor-based. <laughs> but, okay, so next up on our list here, we have another, technically, a version of Spider-Man, but a woman. So Spider Woman. Mainline storyline, <laughs> mainline <laughs> universe. Uh, got the powers the same way as Spider Man, but it has her own spin on things. Is this Silk? Yes! <laughs> Silk, I think, is definitely going to be in these movies. Or at yeah. right, least she's going to be introduced in some way. I mean, she's I know they want to make a Silk. Yeah. They're still, that's still apparently still going. Yeah, like, when actually... are they going to make that? I've heard nothing <laughs> about it. I, they, they cast Silk in Homecoming, for God's sake. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Silk showed up. I was very surprised based on how badly they wanted to milk the Spider-Man franchise when Spider-Verse came out. That there wasn't an immediate show called, like, The Web Warriors, where it was just mm-hmm. all the Spider-Women. I, well, I, the problem I'm is still... they had The Web Warriors already. They did, like, their own Spider-Verse yeah, in right. the shows twice or something like that. Yeah. Like, Was Silk was in, weird. The, in the Ultimate Spider-Man show? No, I don't think Silk's ever, unless I'm, and I might be wrong, but as far as I know, Silk has never had an actual appearance in any media outside of her book. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. That's weird. I me. like Silk, but such a weird character for Dan Slott to make. Oh, Like the, such a. Yeah. Dan Slott's version of Silk, which is to say the one that he invented. Right. Was, was a terrible invention. And then someone else made Fixed it her. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because her origin was great, and then Dan Slott's version was almost like 
a comic book nerd's wet dream kind of yeah, a thing. Yeah, horrible. All right, so I'm going to make a, a hot Asian girl that yeah. has all the powers of Spider-Man, but they're the pheromones, they're just constantly attracted oh to each other. And any time they're near each other, they just got to bang. They have to. You know? <laughs> they, they're not even in control of themselves. They're just going to no. have to do that. They just got to bang. That's what they do. Yep. And like, and like at first, I'm like, Silk's a cool idea because like the concept of her, the fact that, oh, she got the powers but was locked away. Right. She's been hiding from Morlon. I liked all that. Yeah. And they're like, and now she's out. And what's going to happen? Oh, she's banging. She's banging yeah. just Peter Parker. And her costume everywhere. is just and don't her worry, don't worry. He's not dating anyone right now. up all over her naked body. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... It's just a it's it's just bondage and sex. It's awesome. <laughs> and then they were like, "How about a real costume? How about none of that?" And uh, she never sees Peter Parker ever. Well, How about that? The funniest thing about Silk is she was kind of like right before the more progressive future we live in now because she yeah. came out like 2015, 2016. She, she but, was she came out during a time when it was like what? And no one I remember no one in the public discourse being like, "This is problematic." I remember yeah. nobody saying that, and I'm like, I I feel like. You I, definitely would feel would find this problematic, and then, <laughs> and then like five years later, people were like, "Um, I don't know if you guys read this book from four years ago, but oh, I know. it's pretty <laughs> messed up." And I'm like, "Because like, yeah. Dan Slott put it on apology, saying yeah. he didn't really think it out, just thought it would be fun to do the story." And I find it, and I agree with you. I find it so weird that this came out, no one said anything about it. Right? You're like, I was just like, that's a weird thing to be doing with a new female character. No one yeah. else cares. Okay, cool. I like no. her design. Let's have fun with it. Right. And then, like, like you said, four or five years later, COVID hits. Apparently, everyone started reading Silk and found problems with it. <laughs> yeah, they're like, well, you know what it was? I think it was because Silk got an original series that was better. People were like, oh, well, let me read her origin story. And they were like, <laughs> no. <laughs> and Dan uh. Slott lives and dies by forums and Reddit. So, like, yeah. That's the only reason why he probably he immediately issued a apologized yeah. about everything. He's <laughs> like someone someone said I was problematic. So, next up we have an evil-ish Spider-Man who found his way and became a goodish Spider-Man. I love this the number ishes. 24 on the list. Uh-huh. He was evil but became good? Yeah, became good over the course of like a 30 issue run. Oh my god. That could be any. I mean, 30 <laughs> issues suggests Is it Kane? Yeah, is, is it, it Kane? Kane? That Scarlet? sounds like Kane. Kane. Nope. Uh -huh. Is Not it, Kane. Is it Ben Riley post the clone conspiracy? No, nope. he's he's probably one of the most intelligent individuals in the Marvel universe. Is it Superior Spider Man? It's Superior Spider Man number twenty four. Uh, I could see that. Yeah, no, he's. Yeah, I, I could, could see. see I could see with no backstory. Yep. The design and evil nature of him showing totally. up. Totally. That's all mm -hmm. we get. Just arrogant douche Spider-Man. Just that's shows all, up. Yeah, you don't got to explain nothing, but nope. all of us comic fans are going to be like, that's not God! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, you could allude to stuff. He could maybe cast a shadow with more arms as an interpretive thing, and that's it. Yeah. And then everyone in the audience goes, whoa, what was that? Oh, man. Doc Ock took over Spider-Man's body. <laughs> You know, for the record, Dance Lock had a lot of shit for doing that, but I loved that run. I thought a it was so much fun. Run. It's, it was just such. It was, after having so many years of just Spider Man, even just getting two years of Superior yeah. was great. And they did exactly what I suggest every time a comic book wants to swap out the main hero. Yeah. Alongside it, we just ran normal Spider Man stories that were just out of continuity. Yeah. Just so you still got Peter Parker. Yeah, but the main story could keep going. It was I loved it. It was great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. No, it was a really smart idea. I, it, it drove fans insane, you know, because they were like, no, especially when he introduced Ghost Spider Man, um, not to be confused with Ghost Spider, Ghost Spider Gwen, <laughs> but uh, which I think have they have they have they abandoned that at this point. Are they done with that? No, like, she goes okay, by Ghost, Ghost Spider. Spider. She, Ghost Spider. she does okay. officially go by Ghost Spider, but it's kind of like the situation of. Uh, like it's one of those weird situations where everyone just calls her Gwen. Yeah. <laughs> so like her official name is just never used in the books. Right. It's you know it's kind of like Wolverine. No one ever calls him Wolverine anymore. It's just Logan. It's so rare. Yeah. That anyone's yeah. Like, it's you know, Wolverine. Yeah. No, that's true. Okay. Uh, it's just one of those situations where we all know the name is now Ghost Spider, but it just doesn't get used that often. Yeah. It's a terrible name. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. I do think they could have come up with something far better than Ghost Spider. I think they did. It was called Spider Woman, and I don't think that <laughs> anybody had any problem trying to differentiate them. You know, especially because they made Julia into Madam Web too, and yeah. uh, Jessica Drew was never anywhere near the Spider family anyway. And uh, so there you go. End of story. I mean, she's in I mean, the universe. Spider the problem I have with Ghost Spider is the name doesn't make any sense. So Ghost Spider with the Ghost Rider powers, that makes sense because it's yeah. Ghost Rider with Spider. But when you hear Ghost Spider, you think she'd have like camouflage abilities right? or whatever. But what her story is now is she's just a permanent symbiote user. 
Yeah. Like she can't go invisible and stuff. She just <laughs> Well there was a right? I remember there was an actual reason she chose Ghost Spider. And I can't remember what it was, but like there was a comic where she shows up and kids like, Is that Spider Woman? They're like, No, she's dead or something. I don't know. It maybe oh wasn't exactly like that. It was but that there was Spider like Gwen actual, into the Spider Gwen verse. Yeah, there was, was like was an one. actual reason behind why they did that. But I'm pretty sure it was also because sixty five, which is her earth, looks like G S, which is Ghost Spider. That's the answer each but I kind of like it. No, that's, <laughs> that's, they actually purposefully no, I believe like, make it. it look like that. Uh, okay. I honestly do feel like that's just one of those things where they're like, we. Re it's like that moment in S.H.I.E.L.D. where they're like, somebody really wanted our initials to spell out S.H.I.E.L.D. Somebody really wants to make Ghost Spider stick, so we're just going to yeah. go with any of that. I just, I just loved the fact that... Um, the screen like, rent was like, Shh, that version... <laughs> well, not not just that, but I love the fact that Spider Gwen over the years had like they realized people liked her, but they realized that she's just another spider person. So they they basically fixed it up, in my opinion, by yeah. giving her like the symbiote powers and mm -hmm. changing it around a little bit. And she's multiversal, and they tried to really make her stand out, yeah, and not just be another spider person. I, yeah, that book is probably that that book. It's all style, like that book. Yeah was the reason to read it was because of it's like, whoa, what a crazy looking, what a gorgeous looking book. What a crazy topsy-turvy version of the Marvel Universe. That's it. And it's just like, if you don't want that, that's that. Like, she's a really awesome costume. Yeah, she is. That's where it's, But they've given her a lot of backstory. She's one of my yeah. favorite characters now. But uh, next up, we have a Spider-Man from Victorian England. Oh, 1602 Spider-Man, yeah. <laughs> Dan doesn't. Uh, Dan, Sal doesn't even let me get into the sentences. You are. How can you deny you're the Spider-Man master? Say, how can you deny this you're not the self-proclaimed when you can name it? <laughs> this, is a, this is a number. Screen Rant article, okay? This, what I love about this heavy, is heavy-hitting journalism here. I just love that Dan hasn't gotten to really guess at anything because you don't let me. No, no it's gr it's great no, that you no, do no, that. It's yeah, do that because it's great. Because I just love that. Like, I can't get through the clues because Dan's just like, all right, so what's the clue? Okay, Sal got it. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, I'll, it's I'll a wait. spider. Sal's all, I got this one already. Yeah, I got know it. it's this one from over No, no, I want to see if you can keep getting these before I get into them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, anyway, I'll 1602 is an alternate timeline in which the characters work for Sir Nicholas Fury, the alter ego, uh, and his alter ego is the spider, and he falls in love with the real-life historical figure, Vin Virginia Dare. Yeah. So it's just a it's an, it's I have never really read 1602, but it is revered as a classic. What yes, it is story like. first 1602 is great. The the follow ups are not there's not they're they're passable. But the first 1602 is is fantastic. Uh, he was killed by the inheritors, if not Morlun himself. And uh, but definitely would be would appear in Spider-Verse. It's OK. Yeah, it's a crazy costume that. that looks at That's, the, same yeah. thing as Superior Spider-Man. They would just put the costume in there. It doesn't have to be anything. Yeah. Because I foresee part two of the one coming out is going to have, like, everyone showing up. Yes. Like, I yeah. wouldn't even put it past a cartoon Toby, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland sliding in together. I, I remember <laughs> they were talking about putting them in the last one, but, like, it just got too bogged down. But with two more planned sequels, like, yeah. you, could, you, could have a, you could have an absolute scene where he's, like, falling through and they're all standing there waiting for him. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one I don't see Sal getting, okay? Okay. <laughs> you, see, you see that cocky attitude? Okay. This Spider-Man is from North Korea. Okay, he's a super soldier on a mission to destabilize North Korea under the orders of Gregory Stark, Iron Man's twin brother. I'm going to just read that out, see if you can get it. Uh-huh. Very little information is ever revealed about this character yeah hawkeye crushes him under a, a mass of concrete it, what better way to squash a spider than with a big <laughs> rock that is it uh uh is it old man logan nope okay i don't know it's from the ultimate comics during the miles morales run he was known as the spider and he pretty much only showed up in uh what was the storyline just the Ultimates. He was just in the Ultimates, and that's why they fought him. He just happened oh. to be around one time. <laughs> that's okay. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about, like, I know Ultimate Spider-Man and Miles, but I don't know about, like, the multiverse of the Ultimate Universe. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so hmm. that's where it gets a little weird. I The problem there, is that's I That's not going to be in there. <laughs> that's not going to yeah, be in there because he doesn't have much of a backstory, and he's just wearing a Spider-Man costume. Right. There's nothing, yeah. like, to set him apart, especially without oodles of context yeah here's a great one 
Spider-Man 2099. But the version that went back to the main universe and became an engineer in Alchemex yeah, and white everyone costume. forgets is a run that actually existed. Yeah. Where they yeah. took the guy from the future and put him in the modern day to do just normal Spider-Man stories. So stupid. What a waste of paper. Like... <laughs> The whole conceit of And they Ultra- changed the costume too, so it wasn't even like we got to keep the cool costume. It was a white uh, version. Yeah, it was a it was a white version. I think you can get that in the game. It's it's fine. Like the white costume, if it was the only costume we had, it's awesome. But the two thousand ninety nine costume is superior, ironically. Uh but yeah, no. Don't the whole conceit of two thousand ninety nine Spider Man, it's not like because Miguel O'Hara is so translatable, you could put him anywhere. Yeah. Like why don't they put him in the old west? Like, no. <laughs> it's it's in two thousand ninety nine. The whole point is to watch the cyberpunk. Okay, but- you know what? Spider Man twenty ninety nine stuck in the old west would be far more interesting than him stuck in the modern day with eighty other Spider Man. With eighty I, other spider yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt him stuck in the past, I could see that. That'd be fun. That'd be That's an arc. good. Yeah. yeah. Spider-Punk is number 20 on this list. He's definitely in the movie. At least as a costume. At least to yeah. slide it in as a costume. I don't, you know, I don't know what else they'll do with him. No. But I see anybody with an interesting costume is just going to show up at some point. Right? Anybody who was from the comic event Spider-Verse yeah. who has mm-hmm. a distinct costume in the movie. Yeah. And uh, easy, Spider- to, like, uh, easy for fans to be like, oh, it's, it's the punk rock spider. Oh, yeah, Spider-Punk. Like, those yeah. are the ones that are obviously going to be yeah, there. The ones they could name themselves and be right about. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Um, number 20, oh, number 19 is Spider UK. Yep. Which is Billy Braddock from the, which Spider? He's from a different universe. He's it's another just, universe. He's a, he's part of the, the Captain Britain Corps. Mm-hmm. Right. So just a, a British Spider-Man. I can yeah. see that showing up. Yeah. Although I, I see, see it costume. being more of an obvious, like, Captain, a uh, Union Jack kind of thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, the thing about that is that it's, it's Brian Braddock. Like <laughs> that ain't Peter Parker. That is a Marvel character. Uh, yeah. Again, I they just wouldn't the say that. They wouldn't say no, that. It would just, just be a Union UK. Jack in the background on a spider suit, or he just yeah. he just have the voice. Like you just hear yeah. Peter Parker with a British accent. Uh, okay, so I I just did those two because you're gonna get those way too quickly. I got another one you might not get. Let's find okay. out. Okay. Okay. Because because as soon as I was like a Spider Man from Britain, you big Spider UK. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A Not Spider-Man e- with-, with a guitar. <laughs> right? <Spider-Punk. laughs> All right. So this version has no powers of her own. Once she was bitten Aranya. by her. Nope. Because she lost her powers and then I guess got them back. Well, this one was bitten by her father's pet spider and received a moral lesson instead of abilities. Don't let anybody cage you. Taking this to heart, she spends her time using her intellect and resolve to defeat Victorian versions of Spidey's infamous rogues. She debuts her suit when the mayor is taken hostage by none other than Electro. What? I have no I, idea. I know this character. I don't remember where she's from. No, I have no idea. Lady Spider, the steampunk one that has, like, steampunk arms and claws. I don't know, this, I don't know steampunk Spider-Woman. I could steampunk Spider Woman is a thing. I mean, I could see it just <laughs> okay. for the aesthetics. Like people would, that's a toy right there. Yeah, I would totally be in the movie, or at least a cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Number seventeen. Let's see if you get this one. Uh, and this one, Venom defeats Sensei Ben Parker. Peter becomes determined to hone his ninja talents in hopes of avenging him. Is this uh? God, is it five Ronin Spider Man? I think so. Or, or is it Spider not... Clan? I think I think it's bo- I think it's those, but it's not flagged as that. It's it's okay, name there's is... two Spider there's two like Asian bay there's multiple Asian based Spider Men, but like there's one that's Spider Clan Spider Man, and that's the one you could, that has like a costume in the game, but he's like it, it's more like Spider it's it's from the Marvel Mangaverse. Yeah, okay, there you go. It's the Mangaverse Spider Man. Okay. Yes. <laughs> No, you could, he knew it, Dan. You couldn't even. I know. <laughs> Sal's just like, oh yeah, it's this, this, this exact one right here. Right, but because there's also uh, a five Ronin Venom, and I was like, oh okay, maybe that's it. No. Um, number sixteen. I was going to give you because it's another one of those kind of dumb ones. Uh, the real version of Spider-Man Noir. 
<laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No, they're not going to do that. <laughs> well, the real version is a gun-toting guy that's, like, gritty and... They already I have like, Nicolas Cage. It, I it, like Nicolas a, Cage's better. I, I, like, I like both of them. Like, I really like Spider-Man Noir, but... See, these... these actual versions i could see showing up for like a quick scene of like miguel going through time like with actual spider-man noir seeing him like toting guns and looking at him and be like look it was a phase okay like don't judge me on this and then like just a quick brush past it kind of thing yeah definitely okay so this one's gonna be relatively easy to get because the moment i say one word you're gonna you're gonna be able to narrow it down Mm -hmm. spider-man nailed it no Uh. (laughs) Spawn from the infamous Clone Saga. <laughs> oh. oh, Ben, ben Riley. Ben Riley or Kane. Kane. Or Kane. Kane. Dan oh. couldn't even get that one right. Uh, you said Clone Saga. I think Ben Riley. That's yeah. It, they're oh, the two. Oh. They're the two. It's Kane or and Ben Riley. Spider Side, maybe. <laughs> no one remembers Spider Side as a thing. <laughs> they put him in the miniseries. Like he's he's a recent character that they put him into. Like they've they've used Spider Side more recently than I ever would have appreciated. I remember reading it when it was coming out and being like. The spider side thing is not going to work. Like, no <laughs> one's going to care about this. I'm right, right, but, like, you know, they still used him. Number 14. Uh, let me see if I can say anything in here that is not going to immediately give it away. Right? <laughs> this Peter Parker has four distinct personalities that fight for dominance. Is it the cr- meshed up one moon spider? Oh, sp- nope. Is it spider? Is it uh, spider's man? Nope. Oh, that way. Science Peter is a gifted scientist. CEO Peter is the competent head of Parker Industries. The Knight. Oh, Spider is gr- Knight. Sorry, I meant Spider oh, Knight. Oh, Arachnite. Oh, Arachnite. Yeah. Arachnite. Oh, son of a, I can't think of the name. I, th- I knew which one you were talking about. I will about. give Dan this one. Yes. We gotta give he him got one. that one. It was yeah, the Infinity one Warps earlier. one. Yeah. You named it. You were like Moon Spider. And I'm like, <laughs> like I'm, in my head, I'm like, I ones. think he means Arachnite. <laughs> but I can't give it to him because what if there's a moon spider that I'm unaware of? And <laughs> yeah. No, the second you said it, I knew who it was. I just couldn't think of the actual name. Right. Uh, uh, all right. I Next would love up, to see that one in there. You're not going to see that one. That's a Moon Knight character. They're not going to put Moon Knight Spider-Man in there. I, I it would could, be so I, good, though. I, yeah. I, they, so I could see them maybe just doing the costume. Mm-hmm. And just going for it. Just being like, it's just, it's just Spider-Man in a white robe. What are you talking That's about? That's true. That's true, but you're not going to see Spider Boy either from the Amalgam Universe that's no. merged with Connor Kent. Like, um, the next one we've already talked about, so I'm just going to say it. It's the Ghost Spider, number thirteen, Spirit Spider. He oh, like the one that's it's the, the Ghost one that's Rider the Spider. Yeah, <laughs> the one that like nobody recognized because he's in like two pages of one anthology issue of a Spider-Man yeah. comic. That's yeah, where he's a Ghost Rider Spider-Man. Yeah. No, no, I thought I it could... was in. I thought it was in an issue of Hulk. Like he pulls him from a portal for like a panel or two. I. I thought that it was from the same issue as the one with Spider-Man with the cape, but uh, eh. either way, he's either way two he ain't gonna something. be in the movie. <laughs> I see. That's what I could see in the movie because you can have it without explaining that it's Ghost Rider and just having it be a quick thing of like, wait, how many different versions of me are there? That guy's on fire. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that could be funny. Yeah, yeah. All right, number twelve is one of my favorites. To see if you can get it. If you've ever seen Mobile Suit Gundam or Neon Genesis Spider. Evangelion, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I got one. Penny Parker in Spider. I say it weird because there's no technical Wait, vowel in yeah, it. Yeah, she's in the Penny movie. Penny Parker's in the original one, actually, yeah. But once again, I think they're going off of the comic version, oh. which was a lot more serious. and so like stupid. The, yeah, uh, she's already in it. Like, they're just wrong. She's That's basically Because the, the one in the movie makes it more chibi and fun and ha-ha, anime, you know. Right, well, she has to rebuild it, so I guess, you know, the next one will be more like the comic book. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Number 11, you just said it, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. Spider-Boy will not be in the Spider-Verse. The one that's crossed over with DC. uh, Yeah. (laughs) Spider-Boy, Spider-Boy, Spider, it was a Superboy and Spider-Man merged to make Spider-Boy in the Amalgam Universe. Yeah, that being said, Sony has to make a deal with Warner Brothers. They could get away with it. Like, they could do that. And it would be a, that would be a, that would be a. He doesn't, does he have the powers of Superboy? He's a clone. He's a he's got a he's got a web gun. Um, so he that's what like, I mean. I don't think he flies and stuff. I think they could do it. Well, he looks exact. He looks like Superboy from the nineties. Like he wears a leather jacket. <laughs> he does. He has a full body jumpsuit, just like Superboy did back then. He's got not sunglasses. But he has a Spider-Man mask that has the top open for his awesome hair. 
I don't know. It's uh, that that's one of those things where they had to make a deal. And we've read that Sony document where they're like, Spider Boy is not part of it. Yeah. Cause, so, well, cause just because we don't even want to deal with that. Like, why deal with that? Why? Why open the Five door? Five people will get the reference. Like, exactly. <laughs> it's not worth. It's not worth hiring a lawyer or or calling the lawyers we have on retainer to figure that out. Yeah. The next one, uh, number ten, is originally a plain old house cat to a group of gamers. This uh, this spider person gained their superpowers and became a vigilante. Their nemesis is a pigeon named Venom, who he fights in his dreams. And apparently, these fights are very real though he claims to have lost some of his nine lives in the process. Spider cat. <laughs> yeah. I have spider. no idea what that is. <laughs> spider cat is, uh, he doesn't make it out of the spider verse comics. The inheritors defeat him and consume his life. Essence. <laughs> I don't boo. Must've been like a background character that just kind of slipped in for like two panels right? and left. Yeah, I guess it will hostess add Spider-Man be in it where he <laughs> sells fruit pies. All right. Number nine. Actually. Yes. I could totally see that. That'd be awesome. I can see that more than Spider-Cat. Throws a Twinkie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number nine is a character that comes from a universe where all the Marvel characters are primates. Oh, Marvel apes. Spider-Monkey. <laughs> no. <Yes. laughs> that that I, would, that I could see easily. Spider-Monkey is like a given. That should be like, no, duh. <laughs> I don't like that idea, but like I hate Marvel apes. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Spider-Monkey. I mean, like, come on. Number eight, I'm just going to give us, it's Spider-Ham. Again, they're saying with the version from the comics not versus. Yeah, that's so Ooh. dumb. I feel like it's just an easy way to pad five more things, but why don't yeah. you just say 25 versions that won't appear in the Ex comics? Yeah, who says 30 needs to be the magic number? <laughs> uh, next up, we have a time period in which Sp Peter Parker was turned into a literal Spider-Man or Man-Spider in this case. Okay, uh, there's, there's the what-if version called um, Arachnomorphosis, where he is... He never actually became Spider-Man. He just became a, like, horrible spider monster. Right. Or are you talking about the man spider from, like, Based Marvel on this Tales? art, I think it's going off the Arachnomorphosis. Because okay. this art is too new. It's not the old okay. original storyline. Okay, story yeah, because Arachnomorphosis is just, like, he looks like a horrible gray, like, monster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. That's not going in the movie. That's the darkest, <laughs> one of the darkest Spider-Man stories I've ever seen. And he has a son who is a mutant. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a really messed up book. You should check a look at it if you ever get a chance. It's just like really dark for no good reason, except that like, what for for like a really weird bulk of time, Marvel went all the what if books are going to be really really dark. Well, like, like DC just owned up to it. Here's the yeah. dark multiverse. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it was basically the dark multiverse of the Marvel universe, where they're like, this is just every every what if book will be the grossest, darkest version. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then they stopped like immediately. I think, uh, I think Mayday Parker was like birthed out of them not doing that anymore. They were like, or we could just get Tom DeFalco to do a what if about the end of his terrible clone saga run. And like, <laughs> that, that. Uh, next anyway. up, number six, we have like some kind of birthday pinata from our childhood nightmares. This Spider-Man is a collective of spiders that believe they spiders are. Spider-Man! <laughs> there you go, yeah. Spider-Man. Oh, it's my favorite iteration. I would love that. I feel like, there, you know, flip of the coin. You could put Spider-Man in there and it wouldn't really change anything. Why not? Be kind of gross. Just assume disassemble. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Yeah, especially have Miles or anyone going like no <laughs> uh number five we have the most powerful version of spider-man ever cosmic guy oh, co cosmic yeah. spider-man captain Dan's universe getting ahead of you <laughs> yeah. yeah cosmic universe spider-man um i could see him showing up he's kind of the mcguffin in spider-verse 2 he is but captain universe is not sony it's not spider-man's oh i thought it was just kind of a part of spider-man no captain universe is a marvel creation okay so nope can't see him can't you see him? I would be okay with that, though. But again, it would be cool like suit. having an iron spider, which is like, eh. Okay, I don't know what this one is, so maybe you will know what it is, Sal. Mm -hmm. and I doubt okay. Dan will, because this looks like old art. Mm. Number four, this scary Spider-Man is rooted in dark fantasy. I don't know if that gives it away right away. Young Peter Parker ventures into an eerie forest known as the Wo Webwood, where he encounters a mysterious witch. The widow of the web, as she is known, wi widow of the web, as she is known, gifts Peter the powers of a spider under the condition that he may never use the powers for self-interest or personal gain. Soon after, Uncle Ben is robbed by a bandit. 
He fights off the bandit to save Uncle Ben, technically abusing his power. For breaking his deal with the witch, he's cursed forever as a monstrous spider creature known as... I have no idea. <laughs> the Web Slinger, where he guards what? the webwood with his life despite frightening locals. Oh, okay. I've no. never heard of this story. No, me mm -hmm. either. Well, I'm going to say this one because you guys already said, already discussed this. Hostess Cake Spider-Man. <laughs> Yay! Hostess Cake Spider-Man. Nope. Don't see it happening? Uh, I... No, no. I could totally see it happening. He just throws Twinkies or Hostess Cake? I could totally cake? see yeah. it happening like him just showing up and be like, Hey, guys, you want some snacks? Like, what, what are you doing here? Like, why, <laughs> right? why are you trying to sell me food? We're fighting a guy right now. He offers them snacks. At first, they're like, yeah, snacks, dope. This Spider-Man's the best. And then he just won't stop. <laughs> He's like, wow, this is a sticky situation. Not as sticky as these delicious Hostess fruit pies. And they're like, what the or hell are like, you doing? We really need to figure a way out of this. Is, is anybody hungry? Because I, I got fruit pies for you. <laughs> yeah, man, we know. We had them already. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Number two, I 100% see them bringing into one of these two movies. Okay? Okay. 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 Uh, Marvel-inspired, but this Spider-Man is just a completely different character in his existence. Uh, it's from a cl it's a, from a very old Japanese TV deal. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the TV Spider-Man from Japan with Leah Pardon and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he 100 percent has the show. So for those who don't know, quick history on him. Back in the 1970s and 60s, Marvel was just trying to get their characters into TV. <laughs> Japan was looking for a way to touch the, into the Western market. Mm -hmm. So they took, they bought the idea of Spider-Man and decided to make him a Power Ranger, basically. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's an alien from space who's imbued, like a human imbued, like an alien imbued him with powers. And yeah. he can transform like Kamen Rider and all those guys. And yes. he fights giant monsters like Godzilla and Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. They just, they didn't know what Spider-Man was. Uh, no. He's the emissary from hell. Like that's the. <laughs> yeah. It's, it. it's really crazy, but also like kind of dope. There's a. Yeah, he rides a motorcycle. He uses guns. He rides a motorcycle. Guns. He <laughs> uses guns. He, and he has a giant freaking robot that, has yeah. not, that is not spider themed in any way. No, it's, it's just a, it's a Megazord. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's 100. That is, that's not just going to be in the movie. It's definitely in the movie. <laughs> to get like the toy, just the toy opportunities of reintroducing oh, yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would be very surprised if they didn't put him in there. That'd be awesome. I would so buy that too. I know, right? Which actually just made me realize I saw somebody bought a Lego version of Optimus Prime. I got to remember to look that up and see how the hell I get that. Mm. <laughs> you should get the transforming one that talks where you can see like, hey, Optimus Prime, transform. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Those aren't cool though. I checked them out. <laughs> oh yeah, they're not cool. Yeah. No. So, all right, last one. We're going to see if you guys can get the number one of this list. I never even heard of this. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say is it's another situation in which Either they got the rights or they didn't even get the rights and just made something that became famous. And I didn't even know it was famous. Okay? Uh-huh. This is an alternate version of Spider-Man. There's no spandex. He's just an angry man with a shotgun and a Spidey t-shirt. Is this Italian Spider-Man? How did you know that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't because I don't get the appeal. People talk. I've heard people refer to Italian Spider-Man. I'm like, I don't, what even is this? It's a parody of 70s action movies. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh like a gosh. death it's like Death Wish, but like I don't know. It's just a fat dude with a shotgun and a like a, he has like a mask. <sighs> when yeah. did it come out? Oh, it is 1960s and 70s. Okay, so it there is that go. old when no one would have attacked them for yeah. making something like that. I think that was like that. Yeah, that was I think that's like a bootleg kind of situation. It's not like a real like it was never paid for. <laughs> Oh, I never knew this was a thing, and I want to watch it so bad now. Right? I feel like Italian Spider-Man, because the bootleg, like because no one should own it, he's going to go in the movie, because they're like, <laughs> screw it. Screw Just it. a fat guy in a shirt. I am here! Yeah, <laughs> me too! And they're like, what? Okay. I'm gonna, you know what, Sal? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to this one. I don't think this okay. is gonna be in the movie. I feel like he could be. Uh, I feel like Italian Spider-Man. If they're, if like, if 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 Miles has to walk through the Spider Verse and like they're explaining crap to him and they're showing different versions, Italian Spider-Man would be a great like, hey, and they're like, no. <laughs> I just love and Dan, you gotta give this to Sal. 
I didn't even finish really yeah. explaining it. And he's like, Italian Spider-Man? And he knew exactly <laughs> who you're like, okay, neither of you are going to get this. It barely <laughs> existed. Right, now, exactly. let me say half a sentence so that Zach could get it immediately. Yeah. He's a fat guy with a shotgun and a t-shirt. Oh, Italian Spider-Man? <laughs> Italian Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't even understand. I don't even know it really, but I'm like, I don't. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, Italian Spider-Man. It's a weird meme. I think he's more like a meme than a character. I got to say, though, good job, Sal. Okay, Thank so you. Dan, since you didn't get to talk much, I'll let you decide this. Is Sal actually the master of Spider-Man? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's uh, there's a reason that when we were going to bring Sal on, I was like, let's do something Spider-Man related. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. So, all right, well, that has been an episode of Comics Experiment. How many of those did you get from my explanations? Let me know in the comments down below. But also, don't forget to check out our sponsors. G Fuel, use the code COMICS at checkout. I highly recommend Doctor Strange as it's tangerine flavor. They're currently sending me the D Diablo Immortal flavor. I don't know what that would taste like, but it exists. <laughs> nice. Hope it it's tastes spicy. like spending too much on half game purchases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you're looking to expand your collection, check out our other sponsors, shortboxed.com slash comic story and win yourself a comic book, which conveniently is a Spider-Man Venom issue right now. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Sal over at Comic Pop. And if you like the three of us and this kind of fun, we do it all the time over at the channel, Absolutely Marvel and DC. All the links will be down below. I hope you enjoyed this week, and I'll see you next time.